Cardiac Arrest Management AED for the Advanced Emergency Medical Technician Psychomotor Examination. Cardiac Arrest Management AED takes or verbalizes appropriate body substance isolation precautions, determines the scene situation is safe, attempts to question any bystanders about arrest events, checks patient responsiveness, assesses patient for signs of breathing, observes a patient and determines the absence of breathing or abnormal breathing, gasping or agonal respirations, checks carotid pulse no more than 10 seconds. Immediately begins chest compressions, adequate depth and rate, allows the chest to recoil completely. Requests additional EMS response. Performs two minutes of high quality CPR, one rescue adult CPR. Making sure that you have adequate depth and rate. Correct compression to ventilation ratio. Allows the chest to recoil completely. Adequate volumes for each breath and minimal interruptions of less than 10 seconds throughout. Note, after two minutes or five cycles, patient is assessed and second rescuer resumes compressions while the candidate operates the AED. Turns on power to the AED. Follows prompts and correctly attaches AED to patient. Stops CPR and ensures all individuals are clear of the patient during rhythm analysis. Ensures that all individuals are clear of the patient and delivers shock from the AED. Immediately directs rescuer to resume chest compressions. Critical criteria. Failure to take or verbalize appropriate body substance isolation precautions. Failure to immediately begin chest compressions as soon as pulselessness is confirmed. Failure to deliver shock in a timely manner. Interrupts CPR for more than 10 seconds at any point. Failure to demonstrate acceptable high quality one rescue adult CPR. Failure to operate the AED properly. Failure to correctly attach the AED to the patient. Failure to assure that all individuals are clear of patient during rhythm analysis and before delivering shocks verbalizes all clear and observes. Failure to immediately resume compressions after shock delivered. Failure to manage the patient as a competent EMT. Exhibits unacceptable effects with patient or other personnel. Uses or orders a dangerous or inappropriate intervention.